Hey everyone, so let's upgrade my Sony Xperia X performance to Android 7 Nougat. So I'm going to be discussing the differences between this and the previous version of Android, which is Android 6 Marshmallow. Now here on the left, I have the Sony Xperia Z5, still an Android 6 Marshmallow, so that's what I'll be discussing differences with. Um, and I previously did do a video with the Sony Xperia XZ on Android 7 Nougat. Now with this phone, there are a couple of differences between this version of Android 7 and the Sony Xperia X performance version of Android 7. Uh, and we'll discuss that throughout the video. So let's get to it. Now the first change is if you swipe down once from the top of the screen. You see here on Android 7, you have these quick setting options at the top. Just for example, I want to click on Bluetooth to disable it. And as you see on Marshmallow, that was not possible. Now also with the notifications, you do have more options. Uh, so you see on both of them, I have an iFunny notification. Now let's say if I hold down on it here versus here. So it's improved notifications here, more options, quicker, uh, easier access to some of the settings. And then let's say if I swipe down again. So here on Android 7, you're going to notice some differences. Uh, so the interface is a little bit different. Also, you have a second page here. If you swipe to the right, you can edit the icons. Um, so yeah, there's some nice changes there. And there are a couple major changes to the manual camera. So you see right now in manual mode. And if I click here, you can adjust the shutter speed. Also adjust the focus manual. So do uh, two great new additions there. Now probably the biggest difference between Android 7 and 6 uh, is the ability to multitask. It's just an example of how that works. So let's say I have a Chrome. And I want to open up a second app, have it on the screen at the same time. Now some apps won't work, just for example iFunny. Uh, well actually first let me show you how it works. So let's say my main one I'm going to have up is the Chrome. And then I want to bring up a second one. What you can do is just drag it to the top of the screen like this. Hold down, drag top of the screen. And then clicking again on Chrome. So now you see both are up, uh, but iFunny doesn't really work well with this. So we're going to swap this out from uh, for a different one. Just going to slide up like this, get rid of it. Press again. And this time we'll bring Chrome up to the top, hold down on it. Drag the top of the screen like this. And for the second app, we'll just do, we'll do something basic, we'll just do settings. So now you see I can access both at the same time. You can also adjust the size of the window like this. Now another cool feature is, let's say if you have up one app, like Chrome, and then you go to another one, like settings, and you want to quickly shift between the last app that you access, you just double click here. Double click on the uh, multitasking button. Now you see going right back to Chrome. So none of that was possible in Marshmallow. Uh, great new features. Now with the messaging app, there are a few differences here. Uh, just for example, in the camera, if you swipe upwards like this, you can access more the camera from a different angle. Again, was not possible, uh, not possible on Android 6. Now, with the settings menu, there are some differences here. So just for example, uh, currently we have it on silent and it tells you that at the top. Now, I think there's some other features like, just for example, uh, let's put it into airplane mode. And I think it should say, actually not certain. Uh, but yeah, so you see right here, airplane mode is on. And you can turn it off like that. But a big, a much bigger difference if you go into battery. And then click on stamina mode. And actually, let me bring that up on the... Uh, so you see, this is what it looks like on Marshmallow. And we're going to go into battery on this as well. Stamina mode. So you see here on Android 7, you have more options. So just for example, 
Uh, I'm going to turn it on first. And then you can determine when it auto starts by clicking here. You can also click here stamina met, uh, stamina level for some advanced options. So this, for example, uh, you can determine if you want certain restrictions like image stabilization, stuff like that. So always good to have more options with that. And just in general, they have made improvements to the uh, battery performance on this. Uh, those features are supposed to save some battery life, especially when your phone is on low battery levels. Um, aside from that, they've also made several optimizations just in terms of performance, it's supposed to be improved overall. Now, I did do some speed test comparison between the X performance and the XZ, again, which I also have on Android 7 Nougat. Uh, also did a battery life test actually this morning, you guys can check out as well. Oh, and I also mentioned that I saw some differences between uh, X performance on Nougat and Xperia X on Nougat. So just for example, if you swipe from the left here on, on the uh, X performance, you don't access Google now, but on the XZ, you do. So that's just one thing I noticed. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff. Let me know if you guys notice anything else. Hey yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to check out some of those Android 7 Nougat X performance videos, you can. Uh, covering battery life and speed test comparisons as well. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe for more and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.